Hello dear friends, this is your old Humphreys. Glad to be with you and share with you another word. Thank you for tuning in on me on this 10 minute message that I've entitled on the fact that we are justified because he was crucified. Jesus was crucified in order for us to be justified before God. The only way to heaven, according to the Bible, is through Jesus Christ and his cross. He went to that cross and bore our sins. The Bible says over in Isaiah 53 that all, praise God, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. And the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are we are healed. And so we see the truth that, that the blood cleanses us from sin. That's the only thing that will cleanse us from sin and prepare us for heaven. Yes, he was crucified so that we could be justified. And it was all in the mind of God, Almighty God, from the beginning. The Bible says over in Acts 2, Peter was preaching at Pentecost, and he said, Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth was a man approved of God by miracles and wonders and signs, which God did by him in his own hand. And you yourselves also know that he being delivered by the determined counsel and foreknowledge of God, you have taken with wicked hands and have, and have slain him. But when, whom God has raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be held by death. And so we see here that God knew all about it. In fact, God ordained it. God was the one that ordained it. The Bible says in 1 John, the fourth chapter, herein is love. Not that we love God so much, but that he loved us and gave his only begotten son to die on the cross for our sins. You see, somebody has to pay for our sins. Somebody has to pay for them or we are guilty. And we'll, we're, we need those sins forgiven so we can get to heaven. And we'll never go to hell when you're forgiven. You're going to heaven. You're going to heaven. Praise God. I want you to know that, that God loves you very much. He gave his life for you. He gave his life for you. Over in Isaiah again, I mean in, in, uh, in, uh, in the Bible, it teaches us again that, that God in great mercy has redeemed us by his blood. He has saved us. And we are brought to him. Jesus said, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And he wants you to come to him. It gathers you to him right now. I want you to look to Jesus and know that all your sins are forgiven when you repent and ask him for mercy. Praise the Lord. The Bible says over in Psalms 17 verse 8, O Lord God, you will keep me as the apple of the eye and you will hide me under the shadow of thy wings. He wants to hide you under the shadow of his wings. I was reading a little while ago about a, an article about a lady that had some chickens and she went out in the storm. That storm had come up and, and uh, the rain began to fall and the wind blowing heavy and so she wanted to be sure chickens were all in the, in the chicken house there safe and she went in and as she looked in she said she saw this mother hen who had several little chickens, little chicks, you know, and she was over in the corner of that and had her wings out and four or five of those little chickens were under her wings. That mother hen offered her wings for safety. And God Almighty says uh, in, in Psalms, the Word of God in several other places, He says He will hide us under the shadow of His wings. God bless you. He loves you and He calls you to come to Him in a time of storm. I may be talking to somebody right now and you are facing a time of storm in your life and your trouble and trials. But I want you to look to God who is bigger than everything and anything. And He loves you enough that He says, Come to me because I went through those things and I'll bring you to them. And I'll never leave you. We're going to make it together in the name of Jesus. Oh, praise God. Call on the name of the Lord. Be sure you know that your sins are forgiven. Ask him to pray, forgive you in a prayer like this, something like this. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. 
I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come into my heart. Help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Pray a lot, prayer like that. Find your good church and, and worship with God's people and, and seek to find and follow the way of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Jesus was crucified. Oh, what a price he paid for your sins and mine that we might be redeemed forever. Bible says in Matthew 26, uh, he, he was nailed to the cross. Then they did spit in his face, and they uh, they uh, they uh, hit him with the palms of their hands. They smote him, and they said unto him, If you be the Christ of God, why don't you come down from that cross? Oh, praise God! How he suffered! How he suffered! And they beat him and they nailed him to the cross and spit upon him. Oh, how they did mock him. And said, if you are the Christ, come down from that cross. He could have come down. He was the Holy Son of God. He never had a beginning and he'll never have an ending. He was and is the Holy God in the flesh. He could have come down. But if he had come down from that cross, you and I would have never been, go been able to go up to heaven. The only way we could go up to heaven is for him to stay on that cross. Oh, praise God, and he did it because he loved you. Oh, praise God. If this isn't love, then the ocean is dry. Oh, there's no stars in the sky, and the sparrow can't fly. Oh, my dear friends, he loves you so much. And he came out of that tomb, and he lives to bless you today and guide you today and give you strength and hope and help. Over in 2 Corinthians, the 5th chapter, it says this, All things are of God, to whom he, uh, he gave himself uh, at, to Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ has given to you the ministry of reconciliation. And this is it, that God was in Christ, reconciling the world to himself. That was God in Christ on that cross. Not imputing their sins unto them, and have given us the word of reconciliation. <clears throat> Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ. We beseech you by, we beseech you as God did beseech you by us. We pray be reconciled to God. For he has made him, Jesus, to be sin. He who knew no sin. So that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Now dear friends, that is love. That love, God loved you so much. Oh, he loved you so much he gave himself for you. And now he lives. He came out of that tomb. He's alive. And he's coming back. And he's coming back for you if you believe in him. And you'll be with him forever. Oh, God, all your sins forgiven and all your problems solved, you're going to be with him. You're going to be with him. Oh, how much he loved you. We went to that cross. He suffered and died and rose again from a barred tomb. If that isn't love, then the ocean is dry, and there's no stars in the sky, and the sparrow can't fly. If that isn't love, then heaven's a myth, and there's no feeling like this. If that isn't love, I want to tell you, dear friends, that is love. Love that reaches down, love that reaches out, love that will win. God bless you. Give your heart to Him as best you can. And try to walk by faith and love the Lord. And let Him be your strength today, your hope and help forever. God bless you. In the name of Jesus, remember, we are justified because He was crucified. Amen and amen.